Hi YouTube. Um, while Jackie's getting something, I'm gonna do a little special um, bonus, my impressions of Real Housewives. You ready? I'll do Ramona, ready? You know what, Bethany? I just feel like, I just feel like, you're, co like you're coming from a really dark place and I just wanna move forward, okay, Bethany? And I'll do my Bethany. Uh, my Bethany is, I don't know what she's talking about. I mean, it's like the cuckoo in the cuckoo do. I mean, she's, just, she's talking out of her ass. I don't know what she's talking about. We watched seven episodes of The Real Housewives of Dallas. And I haven't seen Real Housewives since, I think I watched- You beautiful. Oh, ask you. Well, I was gonna ask you, will you marry me? <laughs> we were at the table last time. So yeah, yeah you haven't seen The Mirror. Tarjay. I don't know if they saw the bar card you gave me. Next time you're gonna do a tour. Okay. Not this weekend, but we're gonna do the Vintage Fair again. Next and just time. Five! Look alive! But I might have more than five. Oh, no, you're not supposed to. You can't I do just that. realized. The Vintage Fair is on Sunday. So we're in Palm Springs, and we are going to show you and each other our top five items that we're gonna have at the Vintage Fair. Not in order, right? Not top okay. five, just, and, and really it's just five of our favorite right. items because. I, I packaged a lot of stuff. And, and I did too. To I was like, what can I pull out? Yeah, yeah but there's you a lot see of a little stuff. Bit. Yeah, a little bit. Into the top. Yeah. Jackie brought us a delicious Riesling, and I'm usually Saint not Riesling. a Riesling person, but this is Costco lovely. Guys. It's really nice. Yeah, it's got a little effervescence. It doesn't stick to it. on the tongue either. I have five things, and two of them, uh, I know last time we did the fair, I think, if you saw those videos, I was doing all the found and reborn stuff, which is stuff that I thrifted and then painted, and then doing the fair last time, which was great, but I learned that since it's a vintage market, people weren't really there for craft stuff. I think I would need to do a handmade sale of some sort of like a craft fair. Like an, the Renegade Craft Fair would like be a really good craft one. Fair. Yeah. And then maybe I would have a little more success in that realm. But that doesn't mean I don't want to do the Vintage Fair again. What it means is that I just need to incorporate more strictly vintage things that are not painted. That said, I still painted two new things. <laughs> I can't. When you think you mess something up, as we often do when we're crafting, uh, take a moment, let it sit for a night, come back and reassess it, which is what I did with these two glasses. Um, you can see they're like kind of a good heavyweight scotched glass feel. And I painted the triangles on, and when I did, the edges of the triangles were really raggedy and bad, and I got really discouraged, and I was like, ugh. And then I remembered I have this sort of black piping pen um, that works really, really well on glass, and I just outlined the triangles and got rid of those nasty edges, and now there's actually four of these. There's two green and two orange. Um, and now they're ready to go. So I love the colors. I think I love they're the colors. very, very southwest and yeah. desert. And I also like, I told you this, but that you can see through them when the light. Yeah. Yeah. I could have applied more coats, but I like that too. So this I is like the, it. and this is four coats too. They're beautiful. It's reborn. Love it. Your turn. Okay. I don't think I've shown you this before. Are you Kate Winslet in Titanic? Where are you off to? My heart will go on. This, I got at a Goodwill. I had it at the February fair, but I don't I think. I love this pattern. So, well, it's. Monogrammed. RPM. I packaged the shoes that I'm selling at the fair inside here, but it's a shoe bag. And it has these oh. kind of pockets on the side for the shoes. But what's interesting about this is, so this is under the counter at Goodwill. It was $22, I think. And it's by a brand called the French Luggage Company, which in the 1970s, Louis Vuitton, Duke is here, obviously, <laughs> and he's drinking water right now. Is he gonna drink all of it, do you think? This is a bag by the, a company called the French Luggage Company and it actually has this little, see it says French on it. Like, hey American. <laughs> a little key on the side. Yeah, it's got the so keys right here. That's yeah. awesome. And on this, on this ribbon here, it actually says the French Luggage Company. So the French Luggage Company for Louis Vuitton. They, I know. It's worth it, I mean, if it's Louis it's Vuitton. It's pricey. It's, yeah. Well, I didn't sell it at the last fair, so I'll probably slash that a little bit. Manufactured it in the United States. That's beautiful. So this is a like a, it's like an American version of a Louis Vuitton bag. I love it. For the 1970s. It kind of looks 70s, too. This alone, I don't like this pattern, but I like it with the trim and the little monogram or whatever. And that's it. So it's a big, it looks like a carpet bag to me, but it's a shoe bag. Like that's what Mary Poppins pulls her umbrella yeah, stand out of? Because it, it's got kind of this wide, you know, when you open it, and out comes Bert. Out comes a. <laughs> out come your galoshes. That's right. And your stilettos. Your lamp. That's awesome. I want to do a little better job at 
making the tables feel like they have a, a theme or a purpose and I don't really know what that purpose is yet but I have things that might inform it if that makes sense mm -hmm. like I don't have a plan like this is table A table B and table C but if I put these certain things out there maybe glassware will start to gravitate towards right. the theme that so one of the themes was uh, I don't have a lot of books and books are hard to resell because nobody wants to pay more than a dollar for them and that's how much you buy them for but I was like Ooh, if I put these books together and go for an old Hollywood theme maybe something will come together. So I found in one section an old Woody Allen book <gasps> um, called Getting Even. And his old uh, books are supposed to be amazing. I, Do you know I didn't know he wrote books? Yeah, and they're supposed to be really, really funny. So there's this, oh. Long Live the King, a biography of Clark Gable, oh. just that cover. And, and um, I mean, look at this cover. <gasps> How awesome is that? Betty Davis. Look at her on the back, she gave no Fs back then and still. <laughs> and then Pauline Kael, who is the uh, famous film critic, I got two of her books um, that are just, I mean, like, how do you even write 20 pages of this in your life? And she's written like a thousand of these books. Fierce. These are gonna kind of be set up somewhere, maybe I have some like crystal dessert glasses that I'll put next to them and try to cultivate like a little bit of a Hollywood table. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my second thing. These will be two dollars each. Oh, that's this is really for Paul, but you all hang in there, guys. Have you seen these? Yes. No. You did? You showed me this. Oh, I did? Yeah. When did I show you? Maybe I did you put them in a video? Yeah. That's where I saw I them. didn't think you watched my videos. Unless you were in them. <laughs> of course I do. So they're panoramic and I know that's they're where like, I saw them, yes. They're kitschy, but I'm gonna have these there as well, the panoramic. I love those. And I feel like you mentioned that they could maybe go into like a, you were like, it could go into like a, a Palm Springs type of place. Well, because when I was at the Airstream, yes, I brought these Yes, that's where I saw, yeah. yes, okay. And I thought they're small enough so that. Lady, I watch your videos, don't even. If everything were old, this would not look good. But if everything else were new, I think these would look great. You know what I should do? I should run across the street to the Ace Hotel. And try and sell them over there. And try to sell them, like put them in their lobby. Like say, oh yeah, these are for sale. <laughs> And then sell them and I'll say, see Ace, you should sell my stuff. <gasps> Wouldn't that be great? That would be Ace amazing. Would. They be should the... have like a little vintage shop. They don't, they have their own, look at their website, it's really funny. Have you ever looked at their website shop yeah. there? They sell parkas yeah. and things and- couple, I arrived yesterday and we went to a couple of thrift stores. We went to Revivals. As we do. As we do and I was not finding anything. Yeah. Yesterday I really didn't find much. We both had a realization yesterday that Palm Springs might be getting to aware of what the stuff they're selling. We found these amazing yes. like frosted glasses that were from Oregon mm -hmm. and they were five dollars each already. That's them. what I want to sell them for. You can't sell them. You should get them for 69 cents or something. Yeah. You shouldn't. Even the, the Goodwill we went to had these really cute juice glasses, really small that nobody even uses anymore but somebody with a you know little cabinet might want to throw them up there. Four little glasses with red roosters on them that were so cute and they were two dollars each. So the set of four would have cost eight dollars and I could, I wouldn't, ima I wouldn't imagine selling them more mm. for more than eight dollars. So there's a little part of me that's like, maybe I should buy things that sell for exactly what I bought them for, just because it makes the table Depends. look great. But then if nobody buys them, then I'm. Well, out. glassware is difficult yeah. because we both have a lot of glassware. Yeah, it's do. fun to buy and it's really easy to find it. I think. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this area is so odd because it's it's all these people from LA and people who have houses here. And it's funny. Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> goes to the Goodwill all the time. And all it's the like, time. Leo. Post Coachella. You're ruining our game. Right. It's funny that you say that because I think about glassware and I'm like, oh, people are like gonna want these amazing glasses, but people don't replace their glasses a lot. We've had the same like these are just like heavyweight Ikea. green glasses. Did you get it from Ikea? No, Crate and Barrel. Okay. These green heavyweight like water glasses that we've had since like 2006. Yeah, what are you gonna do with them? Yeah. How many pen cups can you have? A lot. That's a Walt <laughs> Quite a few. Quote, Ask me. <laughs> How I many I pen four. cups can you have? I have one Walt for my Whitman. Sharpies, one for my highlighters, <laughs> one for my gold pens, one for my... No. I ended up getting two items at one of the Revival stores and I'm pretty excited because they're kitschy souvenir pillows from the 40s. When I looked them up it said they were silk. I don't actually know if they're silk. The first one, this Eek. one is the coolest. It's a Mount Rushmore souvenir pillow. It's got this fringe on it that, pink. yeah, I love the pink as well. It belongs in Elvis's like honeymoon home. Yeah. 
Did you have you been to that? No. I want to. I want to get in there. They came to honeymoon in Palm Springs, and you can tour the house. Although oh, I believe, you can? yeah, but I believe it's for sale, so I don't know if. That... Well, when I was here with my friend Lauren, when we stayed in the Airstream, we went on a tour and we saw the house at night. It has all these kitschy lights in it. Ugh. We need to go inside and yeah. do that whole thing and My put parents, our stuff in it yeah. and sell it there. <gasps> we should rent the house, <laughs> set it up. That's a fun idea, like the pop up, the pop up vintage shop where you like rent a house for the weekend and, and this, that's and it's like but it could have, it's the estate sale that's right. not like they're not moving out of the house. It's let's just not like, tell anyone. Let's not tell anyone about that. And Forty five dollars, guys. What it was I, Elvis's. <laughs> <laughs> I love the pink. I do. I do too. They just use such great colors. I'm just, I'm really, you're going to cut this out, but I'm really excited for when they make room for... So the fringe is, is pretty good here. I've already got my little tag on it. But on the bottom, it kind of pulls out. Someone put new, just new pillows inside. So that's why I realized why they had kind of torn the bottom apart. So I had to you re You did a great this. job selling it. Thank you. So, yeah. So this one, this was $8.00. Which is kind of pricey. This was. Are you gonna try to sell all three as one or? No, because they're totally different. St. Louis. I mean, this one has all of the fringe on it. This was also open at the bottom. I just sewed it, but it's a brand new pillow inside too, which I think that's why I kept the pillow. I like that. I like the pillow, but it's St. Louis. I've been to St. Louis. Have you? Yeah. I've been my to friend Missouri, got married but not... there. Oh really? I think. The Arch. Yes. And yes, I have been there. <laughs> Thank you for reminding. Me. Yeah. Um, we went the up arch in the arch actually, and it was incredibly claustrophobic. I didn't know you could go up in it. Have it you is seen so that? crazy. You sit in these little um, pods mm -hmm. and you sit two and, or maybe like five around this like kind of small base and you're all, j and the thing goes like this when you go up, it just goes back and forth and then you get up and you're at the top of the arch and it's insanely claustrophobic. But how do you, so this is my, when I think about going up in the arch, I think it goes like this and then you're going to be upside down no, going That's down. not how it happens. Have you ever seen the PBS? American Masters about the guy who, he did Dulles Airport, he was a mid-century architect. No. Sar it's not Saarinen, it's something like that. It's like Sarnen. Ooh. It's really interesting. He did American the Masters. Well. We digress. So St. Louis, and this one's in really great condition. Yeah, it's beautiful. So we've got St. Louis. And this one I got at that Deseret Industries, which I told all of you about last time. Uh, this next one, Paul has not seen this one, but I brought it to put in the sale. I just happen to have now three. And this is, it makes sense, because it's, Deseret Industries is owned by the Mormon Church. Oh. And this, I actually found two of these on separate occasions at Deseret. Um, so it says Utah Centennial, souvenir of Utah Centennial, so it's got all the stuff on it. And I got this for $2. Oh my God. So I went a different time and I got one, and another Utah one. The, the woman at the till said, oh, my grandma used to have one of those, and it was like a dollar. And I said, well, do you want it? Oh. And she said she did, so I just gave oh. I have a set of three different souvenir pillows, but I think they look nice together because the colors are all different. Somebody could really have fun with those. Oh my gosh, yeah. You know, these are the kind of pillows like you don't want anyone to actually like right. take a nap on them. Yeah. But. Um, I found these dishes at Revivals mm -hmm. before you arrived and they were in really dirty condition, but I washed them a few times over. I knew that I loved the shape, and so I wanted to clean them, and then I was like, I'm gonna paint them. They're very, very thin glass, which makes me very nervous. I'll show you first, kind of like the, the shape. It's like this really nice dessert glass or salad glass, um, and I did a painted pattern on the bottom, which is that same type of paint that I used for, um, you saw the red glasses, the, 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 the um, highball glasses I did a little while back. It's this amazing paint that, it's called glass art. And it, I've used a bunch of different paints with glass before and even the ones, like those triangle ones, this paint does not adhese very well. For the first like couple day or two, you could go in with your fingernail and scratch it off. This stuff within two hours, it's on the glass, it's not coming off. Without baking it? Without baking it. Um, I, they say it's dishwasher safe. I still would hand wash everything just to be safe. But even if you feel it, I mean, just put your finger on that. That's. It feels like it's like it's baked in, or yeah. like the glass was created with that. There's eight of these, and I got them for a dollar each, or maybe in fifty cents each. I think that if somebody were to like love this kind of abstract style, it would go well with a variety of different plates. I love them. I think like we have these beige. Uh, crate and barrel, <laughs> we're so basic. <laughs> um, <laughs> plates at home that these would go well with. Um, and they're fun, I mean, I just had fun making them. I haven't painted something in a while, so it felt really good to kind of get the, the paints out again and make something new. So there's eight of these and they will be on sale at the market 
maybe if they don't sell, they'll be there in December. Or maybe let's Nick have, will want them and he'll say, put those on. Let's have more encouraging <laughs> self-talk now, okay? Yeah, sorry. Let's do our vocal exercises first. Okay. 